You found it. You did. Yes. Good. I'm glad. Love it. Love it. Love it. Ah, oh, well. Hello, Europe, Australia, and the world, and welcome to the Cup ESC, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the tea into ESC from top to bottom, honey. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay. Gay. Uh, today, I'm drinking coffee. I had to do it out of my larger mug today, but this is my purpose mug. It, it's overexposed, but there, there we go. go. Hey. Ooh. Um, because I needed a lot of coffee today. It's one of those days. One of those days. Thank you very much. Um, but of course, if I was drinking uh, my coffee out of a smaller uh, vessel, it would, of course, be a cup mug. Uh, and you could go get yours and all of our other merch at lanagecreations.etsy.com. Link is in the description below. And we do ship internationally and domestically within the U.S. U.S. words. So there are no excuses. And today we're looking at you, Serbia. Again. I don't think I did it during that intro, actually. I don't remember doing it. But again, looking at Serbia. So, hee <laughs> hee, smile. Smile, smile, smile. And, in the words of former Eurovision representative from Serbia to Eurovision... I'll just let you do Constructa, because I don't know which one you're doing. Oh, actually, I'm not going to do Constructa. Oh, then I'll do Bitti Strava. Bitti Strava. Bitti Strava. Beat, 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 beat the Strava. Because we get to talk about Mother today. So you want to talk about, talk about mothers. mothers. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to talk about Mother. I'm... So you want to talk about Mothers. Because there are several today, and I'm very there excited. There are several. In this I am season. very excited. Hi, I'm Anissa Long, also known as Sam DMB, also known as Sam de Monteverde. I like Eurovision. I also like K-pop. Um, I can't find many people that, you know, are in the middle of that Venn diagram, but I am one of them. So if you are also one of them, feel free to hit me up. Um, Twitter will be somewhere. In the, oh, it'll be in the description below, at the least. Um, and, and here it is now on screen. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Um, and in my lovely cup mug, you can get your very own outline of com. I have some water because, you know, I, I didn't actually drink any water today and I know I need it. Uh, and in the words of current, your, uh, Pesma ni Eurovisio, I think I I probably butchered that, but it's fine. Uh representative Namate Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Also, because you have it in your headline, I just have to also say Rumba boom 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 Rumba boom 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 Rumba boom 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 Oh god Ah, uh, this semifinal, we are here, we're talking about semifinal two of the Serbian national selection today. And I said, when we did our review of semifinal one, I said, I'm very much so looking forward to semifinal two. And I followed up saying, it's great. I'm going to go ahead and say this. So it's on the internet. Uh, this is one of the strongest national selections for me this year. And I'm very thrilled about that because I haven't, I haven't thought that in previous years of Serbia. I have to be honest. I always, I always like, usually with Serbia, there's a lot of really, really good things. And then everything else is kind of, Neh. this year is, there's about 15 different songs that if they went to Eurovision, I'd say, great. I'm rooting for Serbia. At least 15. <laughs> At least. Like there's so much good talent this year there's a lot of returning talent which makes me very happy we talked about a little bit of that in semifinal one make sure to go check that out ding um but i'm very excited to get into uh i'm very excited to get into semifinal two and we're gonna do that 
Uh, before we do, though, make sure to subscribe because we're here almost all the time giving you almost everything Eurovision Song Contest 2024. We've got an upload every single week day this week. Uh, this is number two of seven. And if you want to see our full schedule, check the community tab over here and check our Instagram and Twitter as well. Schedules will be there also. Follow our socials. I'll say that at the end as well. We've got two other channels as well with Almost All Things Drag and Almost All Things Reality TV. So make sure to check those out as well. And over on our drag, chan drag channel, which is our main channel, um, you can become a member of our channel. All three channels are connected. Same people, same production, different topics. So um, there will be some Eurovision content over there. So if you want to support us that way, you can. We also have a super thanks available on all of our videos over on the main channel. Um, so if you want to support us in any monetary fashion, it means the world to us. And all of that money goes right back into uh, making this podcast better for you all. Plus, we are also on Patreon. So if you want to become a patron of our channel, uh, you can do it over there as well. It's the same. It'll be the same content on Patreon that it is over on our main channel on YouTube. So you got options. And we appreciate all of the support. So yes, we do. Without further ado, we're going to dive in. We're going to go in running order because we have that. So, yes. first up in the running order today, we have Nadia. 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 With Sudari or Collisions. <laughs> I she's like cute. this. She's cute. This is cute. She's a cute song. I'm I'm a really big fan of this. I I don't know about you. The backing track when it starts and it's got that like little ding. You know what I'm talking about? That okay. like twinkle sort of effect. Oh yes, yes, yes. It gave me very ABBA, and I can't place the ABBA song. First thing. That oh, um, it's giving. Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. That's I was gonna I mean. say, yeah. I wrote down Super Trooper, and I knew that wasn't right, but I was like, "What song am I thinking of?" Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. Is what I'm thinking about, As, melodically, not lyrically, but melodically. <laughs> melodically, this also kind of gave me, for some reason. Do you remember last year, Il Bene Nel Male? From yes. San Remo. Like, it, yes, yeah. very. I love that song. I it's still, I, that's on my playlist. I love it. Yeah, it gave me very that vibe. Um, she's got a she's got a solid voice. I hope that those lower notes can shine through. Um, especially mainly because this goes into my one note that there isn't a whole lot vocally. Mm -hmm. Um. But with what I presented today, I still really enjoy nonetheless. Yeah, I think I really, really like this song. Unfortunately, I find that in a sea of very, very good songs in the semifinal, I find that it fades into the background just a little bit. Yeah. Um, I want a bit more vocal complexity from it. I want a bit more... I want a bit more from it, but I think it's a very, very solid song, and I really enjoy it. Yes. So, um, and she's gorge. See, she is beautiful. She's she's beautiful. beautiful. Okay, that's all. <laughs> let's move next to hydrogen who i recognized the name i don't know i don't remember if they had competed prior and if they had i'm so sorry um but i, I recognize the name for some reason i don't know regardless the song uh for this year is nemo gurcha misia or mission impossible Wow. 
I this is like it. Ooh. I kind of like it. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. It it gives me very like nostalgic like two thousands alternative rock. Oh, I wrote down very Green Day. Ish, ish. It's, it's in that universe. that universe. It's like um, Kings of Leon. Is that a sure? sure. Yeah, that's the band. Is that the band I'm thinking of? You somebody. Yeah, that Kings was, of Leon. That is a band. Okay, I'm not. That is a band. band. Sex on Fire and You Somebody. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I would go towards Kings of Leon per se. Okay. My mind goes more towards Blink 182. Definitely. Especially with a voice like the lead, this lead singer does. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very well written, but for some reason. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. It, uh, no. Sorry. Scratch that thought. Um, yes. It, it's very well written. Uh, it, especially melodically. Um, I like that the singer kind of brings more energy into that second chorus. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, my favorite part is anytime like the pre-chorus happens. I find that part really cool. Yeah, I think it builds really nicely from the verses into the chorus. Yes. Um, it builds very nicely throughout the song. I think it's a really, really solidly constructed rock song. Yeah. Like, I'm not mad at this song at all. Well, Do I think it'll qualify? I don't know. I, like, I... I don't know. I don't know. But I wrote down, I think I enjoy this. I and I was, I was getting into it more as it was going on. And I was like, this is pretty good. Yeah. There's no song in this semifinal that I dislike. I will, I will go ahead and say that. Yes. There's nothing that I absolutely was like, ugh, horrible. Um... But yeah, I think it's I think it's lovely. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Let's move to Eva Lorenz with Dom or Home. I also really like this song. I also really like this. The what I love the most is she has this very soft opening uh-huh. into the part that we heard, which was this like this very EDM beat, which I I think the beat and the the musically I think it's a very nice song. It kept my interest throughout the whole thing. Um, the upbeat chorus going on. It's really fun. Fun was the word that I wrote down for Yeah, it. this is this is very fun. And also, she's in sync. She's, the pocket is there. Oh, she oof. is very in sync with that music. Yeah, it's, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I really enjoy this too. Um, yeah, and it's weird because it's like, oh, despite there not being a whole lot vocally, because she, she does stay in that kind of low, mid to low range, right? Mm-hmm. Um, For some reason, I still, like, really like this. Like, it's leaving me wanting more, which is yeah. which is kind of what you want a listener to, yeah. to feel. I think it's, it's it's also very interesting that it's it's a very fun song melodically with these lyrics that are a little bit more intense. Right. Like talking about um, the chorus is just, I fell asleep too far away from me. I'm trying to fit in, but it's not enough for now. And like the whole point is about like, what, like she's like, where is my home? And I'm mm-hmm. like, I like that. I really like a song that can very easily do both, like the dichotomy of, more intense lyrics with it with a more upbeat song to it i think this does it in a very good way it does i'll agree so very much so enjoy what eva's got going on so well it's time to talk about mother zayna who i just absolutely adore 
I love her. I Zeta, love her. if you see this, I would love a follow as well. Oh, not the follow. You follow Logan, so I'm like, oh, that is I correct. Love you, I love you that too. Is correct. But yes, we love <laughs> Zena. We, we we love, love, love Zena. We do. This year, uh, last year obviously competed with Roomba, boom, 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 boom. And this year competing with Naiboya, or oh, she is the best. Boy, this is awesome. First and foremost, the fact that the chorus of this song is Zena is the best. <laughs> I love this. Bitch. I love, 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 love. Zayna, girl. Zayna, you've done it. You've done it again. You've done it again. Like constantly raising the bar and looking fabulous while doing it. <laughs> Truly, mm -hmm. like I think this is the first song to me, and I haven't said this in a long while, but. It, it's it's truly giving me that like bad bitch energy, you know, like she's oh. that bitch kind of thing, you know. It's very that bitch. Yeah. This the intensity of it all is truly what reels me in. Yeah. And then she gives us those vocal, like the vocals that we know she can give us at that climax. It's oh, it's so good. There's so much to keep your interest to yes it's uh it's so good it's so good it's so fucking good it's like, like yeah and so like and it's weird because like some songs we would say something like this would be like very repetitive i feel like it's repetitive in just the right amount like it's just, there's enough of that repetition of the chorus and it doesn't go beyond the chorus there's substance to the song which i appreciate yes and that's what i look for i'm like it i'm looking for substance i don't mind if there's repetition i just need a little bit of vocal interest otherwise and this song provides that absolutely i'm so excited for her to be back i'm I'm not worried about her qualifying. And if she won, I mean, I would be thrilled. I would be thrilled. thrilled if she won. She's someone that I'm definitely rooting for in that regard. Um, yes. But it's a it's a tough year. This is a very tough year. But I'm glad she's back. I'm yes. really glad she's back. So, Zayna, we love you. We're very excited for you. Good luck, Diva. And if it doesn't work out, please, next Return. year. Return. Yes, come back. We... She's someone that, like, whether it's this year or a future year, she, she'll she go to Eurovision at some point. Yes. I see it. I see it. Yeah. in I see it happening, for sure. But speaking of people returning, I'm very excited to talk about Philip Balosh. Um, this year with uh, Duga Yenok. Duga Yenok, I believe is the pronunciation of that. Uh, or in English, it's a long night. Yes. <laughs> I love this. It's fantastic. This like is, it's it's very on brand for Philip. Judging by like in comparison with the song he did last year with Novi Plan Drugi San, which I also have now grown to enjoy a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I do too. I really enjoy him. Yeah, because I remember what we both said about it last year, and I feel like it's now growing on both. I of didn't us. get it until the live. I'll be honest. I, I didn't get it. And then I saw it live and I was like, no, nah, I get it. 
Yes. I got it now. I get it now. So I'm super excited to to see a to see Philip back. It's end with a great song. Mm -hmm. The pockets there. Um, the vibe is amazing. Solid voice, like always. Uh, I love the places this in like the instrumental takes me. Yes. And this yeah. key change was cute as well. It's the first of several key changes in this semifinal where I'm like, the key change works. The key change worked. Yeah, I really enjoy this. Uh, the fast rapping parts are really, really well done for me. Yes. That gives me a little bit of a throwback to Novi San Drugis, whatever. Novi Plan Drugisan. Thank you. I can never say the title of that name, the title of that song, right? Um, But yeah, I'm, I am a really big fan of this. I'm excited. I'm excited to actually be rooting for Philip Bellish this year. Not that I wasn't last year. I just didn't get it. Yeah. So I didn't get it before the contest. And guess what? Now I get it. Now I get and it as I well. see it. I see the vision. I think he's someone else where I'm like, e he'll go to Eurovision at some point. He'll go to Eurovision at some point. I see it. I see it for sure. Also, um, I believe he's also one of us. Uh, probably. So like work Diva. Ju judging by the performance and what we've seen of him last year. Am I going to oh. go... Let me, hmm. but yeah, no, I'm very excited for this, for him. I think he's lovely. I think he's fantastic. Yes. And talented, I'm, brilliant. <laughs> talented, brilliant. Yes, all of that. I agree. Let's move next to Nemanja Radosevic with uh, Jutra Bez Tebe uh, or Mornings Without You. The, I really like this. I really like this too. It's 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 so Balkan, and I mean that in the most loving way. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is a Balkan song." Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy this. Um, it's 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 a big, powerful Balkan ballad about love that you want to keep with you. Like that's. I, I I think it's really nice. I think yeah. what I like the most about it is this kind of rock vibe that's going on underneath the whole thing. Yes. And I think that mixed with everything is very, very successful for me. Yeah. And almost, again, it's, it's almost like a like a Jesus Christ superstar or like a mm, Adam of the Opera kind of thing where it's like, oh, it feels sure, really, okay. like it's like rock but there's a lot of drama in it too you know sure. yeah um and again two songs in a row where the key change i thought was spectacular oh this key change was spectacular i actually liked just before the key change where he's mm -hmm. he's like ad-libbing he goes for the high belts yeah i'm like I th i'm like everything here is very successful um i really like it i enjoy this a lot I'm like, this is, this is lovely. Good for you. Yes, I support this. I support you. I support you. Next, uh, uh, we have Yanks with Colo or Round. <laughs> I just Bop City. Bop <laughs> City. So I think I think we have a new addition to our mothers. The, she is she is mothering. 
she is mothering here. And I will go ahead and say two songs in a row. Next song we talk about as well. Two two mothers in a row. I will go oh, ahead and say that right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. But before we get to the, the, the next one. Yes. This song is just... And the fact that she composed it and wrote this. Mm-hmm. Her... Oh, uh, this is amazing. Her voice is so cool, too. Like, this is kind of... The... Like I I love people with this kind of voice and they know how to like complement it through music. Um yeah. yeah, she's got this like very like whispery tone, but it's also like kind of funky in a way, you know? Yeah. Um I really hope that she's able to give it to us live. Um yeah. this climax to this high note. Stupid. Stupid is the only word to describe it. No, I mean, that's the best it, way. It, like, it, it's to, so good. to clarify, we mean stupid in like the best way. Like, it's stupid how good this is, you know? Yeah. And then it ends quietly. Ugh. I just. I just. I just. Girl. I like that it's English and Serbian too. We got a couple of songs in this semifinal where yes. it's a nice mix of English and Serbian. I think it really, um, I think it really aids with aids the song uh, in a mm-hmm. really nice way. And I'm, hey, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited for for her in particular. Yeah. And speaking of mothering, next up we have Kat Dosa with Tiny Zachin, or Secret Ingredient. This is very C to the auntie. Like... Oh, we can say it here. This is cunty. Very. <laughs> this is so cunty. I <laughs> love this. It gave me, I'm curious whether I think this is the case because it shares like a, na- a word in the title. It's giving very secret combination. I was going to say. My secret combination. <laughs> like it's giving a little, it's giving like lo-fi secret combination, but in like yeah. the best way. Yeah, um, very like. I don't. It's very enchanting, and I I think that's the word. It, oh, the dream, the dreamy intro. I was like, yes, mother. Like, yes. It, oh. And then she is so in pocket. She knows exactly where she is in this song. I pray this is good live. Yes, pray this is good live. I think I think this has everything it takes. I'll. I think a lot of these songs actually have everything it takes. I this think, is not I, an exception. I, I think most songs in the semifinal have what it takes to do well at Eurovision. I'll just go ahead and say that. But like, oh, so do I. Yes. Mmm. <sighs> I just. I it's just. so good. It's so good. This is amazing. It's so good, mothering. It's Jeez. the no. It's the it's the this whisper monologue movie. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it, it was giving, I will say, it gave me K-pop vibes. A bit, a bit. I think I think what it is for me mostly is like in the moments where she's like, oh, tiny zachin. Like those moments and melodically right. a little bit, it gives me that sort of vibe. Yeah, sure, sure. I can't attribute it to any specific K-pop group or idol because I'm not, I'm not, I appreciate it. But I'm not. Um, the only idol I know is Alexa, and I love her. So that's that's all. Um, Period. She is my favorite, and that's that. Um, but I really, I really enjoy Kat. I think if she doesn't, if she doesn't win this year, she's someone else that I'm like, please come back. Yes, I'm absolutely. very intrigued by what's going on here, and I'm very excited for a bit more Copy of yeah. this lovely woman. I think this is the. This is probably like the one song I put. 
And I think this is the very first song I've ever put for, like, the very first word I put for any song. But, like, or, sorry. The very first song I've put this word for this. But uh-huh. it's very sexy. I get very oh, sexy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yes. Absolutely. I agree with that for sure. So. Let's move to, I believe it's Georgie. I want to say it's Georgie. I think it's Georgie. Based on my limited knowledge of the Serbian language, uh, Georgie. So, uh, the song is Luna Park or Theme Park. I think it's cool. I I'm a big fan of this as well. I don't know. It, it he's he's got a great voice. I love how he t- attacks these high notes, especially in a genre like his. Um, yeah, it's just to me, it just feels like you know, it's a really well put together and really well done rock song, pop rock song. Yes. Yeah, I think. Um... What did I write about this? His tone is really interesting. I think the vibe is cool. This is perfectly solid for me. Yeah. I, I think it's I think it's very nice. I think the lyrics are really methodically written. Um, I didn't unfor- unfortunately I don't have a lot to say about the song. I just think it's a very it's a nice song. Yeah. I'm not I'm not upset at this song. It's not my favorite, unfortunately, but I think it's it, it it's very good. Yeah. I think there's an audience for this song, and I think the song is different enough in this semifinal that there's a universe where he qualifies. Yes. So but yeah, I think it's I think it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Next up we have Dushan Kurtic with Zbog Tebe Jivim. I can't say words today, apparently. Especially in a language. I can barely say words in English, let alone Serbian. Um, but the uh, the song is I Live Because of You. It's lovely. It is, yes. It's lovely. Like, I'm... It's, this is classic Baltic ballad. And yeah. I really enjoy that. Um, the one the one issue I had, and it's not even really an issue, it's just, I don't know that I needed the English at the end. I don't think I needed the English either. But it was cute for what it was. Yeah, yeah I, think it's a, I think it's a very lovely song. Um, the lyrics are very powerful. He co-wrote this, um, which I think is lovely. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at this at all. He's got a solid higher, he's got a solid voice. Yeah. Um, I just feel like it, it could use a bit more substance because it is very, it, it felt a bit too repetitive for my liking, especially for a sure. vibe like this. Sure. Um, as well, like, melodically it didn't go a whole bunch of places for me because it was that melody it to me it felt like it was that melody the entire time yeah yeah musically it doesn't go a whole lot of places vocally i think he's got a little bit of room to work and i think what he's doing is very nice yeah Um, i definitely do think he can he has more in the tank mm -hmm. um than what he's showing us yeah i would agree with that but I, I definitely don't think it's bad. It's not. It's definitely not. Okay. Let's talk about Teodora with Ramonda. <laughs> This is great. This could win Eurovision. I'm a huge fan of this as well. This is... 
I think this has a great shot to win this selection. And I think a lot of it has to do with the backstory, which I've uh, become familiar with and I really, really enjoy. Um, so Ramonda is uh, referencing a flower called Ramonda Serbica, which is a flower specifically um, that grows in Serbia. Um, and it's known for surviving harsh conditions, um, which is why it's called the Phoenix flower. Mm. Um, and it symbolizes uh, the suffering of the Serbian army during World War One, And so it's become kind of this symbol of Serbian, from what I understand, and again, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I probably have some details wrong. Um, but it's kind of become symbolic within uh, Serbian culture because of that, obviously, because of what because of what happened during World War One. Right. Um, I think this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. It's very ethereal. It it felt very ethereal, um, and very like, you know, like in an action movie, like almost towards the end of an action movie you get that one little scene of like almost like a dream sequence say it's like mm -hmm. oh a father in the military and like just on the brink of dying even though he doesn't at the end yeah. you get that little glimpse of like oh he's playing with his kids and it's the For nicest sure. thing ever like this that's the feeling that this gave me and I would definitely agree with that melodically and then looking at the lyrics like god it, it this is a powerful song it is. I this is a this is a gorgeously powerful song. The the people of Serbia are gonna know exactly what this is referencing. They're gonna know exactly what this is for. I think there's a big chance that this wins. I need I need some big I need some big staging. Yeah. I already can see this with this like this very like symbolic staging with these flowers everywhere. And I want her... Just like, I, could, I think this is effective as, like, a park and bark, you know? Oh, I want her with a circle of these flowers around her or something to that effect, and, like, just fire coming up around it. Like, I, I need something like that. Like, I need something like what we envisioned um, Empire's staging to be right um, from poland 2020 like it gives it's very it's similar vibe for me i need something like that mm -hmm. in this and i think that would be really really lovely um it's oh my god it's gorgeous that's really the only word i can use to describe it it is it's, it's yeah. just it's just gorgeous and i'm I, I was speechless after I listened to it. I was like, well, shit, okay. Yep. <laughs> and in a sea of, so, uh, in, a, in a selection with a sea of powerful female ballads, this still stands out so differently from all of the other uh, women singing ballads in this. I think a lot of that also has to do with kind of how it was composed. Yeah. And keeping in mind she she also is a co-composer on this. Mm -hmm. She did have a say in the the music, I suppose. Um Yeah. yeah no, cuz a lot of the a lot of these like female led ballads are are very like you know kind of what we would expect of a Eurovision ballad where it's like, you know, we get all the strings and we get all the grandiest stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is kind of the other like end of that of like ballads yeah i guess <laughs> i'm i'm thrilled thrilled she's in this semifinal mm -hmm. i would be a little bit more worried for her if she was in semifinal one but i'm thrilled she's here so yes very excited teodora yes diva but we move from one mother to a familiar mother Yes. A recognizable mother. Just a bit. Just a bit recognizable. I'm so beyond thrilled that Constructa is back. The gaggery. <laughs> when she was announced, we were all like, oh, she's 
she's coming back this soon. Yeah. I figured she would because obviously she had a lot of she had a lot of success for Serbia. Um yeah. I'll talk more about that in a second. I want to play the song. Uh Nova Boye uh knew better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she had so much success with Incopresano, which has become like a, a cult favorite Eurovision song for a lot of people. <laughs> and I would say myself included. And I remember when we covered that national selection, we were both kind of like, what the fuck is this song? Mm -hmm. And then she won, and we were both kind of like, what the fuck is this song? Like, what are we missing? And then we got it. And then we got um, it. We absolutely I, come in, I come into this knowing what Constructed yep. does. <laughs> yep. And having that knowledge really informs how much I love this song. Yep. Um, I, I do have to say, when all the songs dropped, this was the first song I listened to. Because I just needed to see what Constructa was going to do this year. Mm -hmm. It's so different. But I really love it. This is, it's a different vibe than Incorpora Sano. But. It's upbeat for one. Like, well, like, I was yeah, like, I think I that's the like, main thing. It was just a very upbeat and almost EDM dance kind of thing. But it's still quintessential constructa in a way. Lyrically, I think this is where I mean, and lyrically is where Incorporisano really, really shines as well. Yeah. Um, but a constructa is such a smart woman. I think to me, she's what I think of when I think of like art pop, you know? Like that kind of music, you know? She gives me like conceptual pop. Oh, I like that. I like, like she's that. so conceptual with the way she does things. And I think even the way that the down to the, the way this song is written, the progression of this song, because it starts and she's talking about like, doctor, what's up with me? I just want new, mm -hmm. new, new, new things. And I don't, I don't know the full understanding of it. I haven't heard from her specifically what the like full reasoning behind it is. It sounds like, from what I'm reading, this is a bit of a critique on like plastic surgery. Interesting. It's kind of what I'm getting because the whole the whole thing is like new, better, faster, bigger, higher, stronger, it's coming. Mm. And so like, and then there's like everywhere I just get scammed, everywhere I see anomalies. And so I I see yeah. like it, and it's like, doctor, what's wrong with me? Everywhere I see anomalies, what's up with me? All of it can be much better. Um, and then it ramps up and it ramps up and it ramps up. And then at the very end, it's here it is, here it is, doctor. A wish wouldn't know what is unattainable, doctor. And then it ends with, and it's coming. And it ends in this, like, kind of almost, like, climax. I would say kind of echoing a climax. Yeah. In this, like, so, like, this really smart, conceptual way. I just, I love her. I, I like, really do. I love her, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think what sends me is when she's, when you hear her like screaming at the end, yeah. she, and I'm like, oh, now that I know that, and that's, that's at least very, my that's my interpretation of it. I could be very wrong, right? But but you know, taking the whole like doctor, um, kind of concept in mind, like I get it. I kind of get where she's going with it. I really want to see this live. Oh, I cannot wait. To see what she does with this staging. Yes. I cannot wait to see this staged. I think it's going to be so... I don't even know what it's going to be. I don't I'm know what so it's so excited. Be. Yeah. Like, it, it's different.
for what we know her to do. But it's but still, still that same sort of constructivism kind of thing. Yeah, I would. That's a great way to put it, actually. It's quint it's very quintessential constructa. And I love it. And I'm here for it. And I'm so excited for her. I'm thrilled. I'm so excited for Constructor. Excited, but scared at the same time, because this also is a very strong semifinal. I think sh I think she'll be fine in the semifinal. I am not worried no, about her. In the I'm semifinal. not worried about her qualifying because I think she's qualifying, no question. It's her representing it's, it's her in the final. It's her in the final that I'm scared of. It's it, this is a much more competitive year than two years ago. Yeah. At Pesma. Like it's it is a much stronger year. This is the strongest year I've covered of Serbia's. I will agree. And I'm I'm worried. I am worried if for, I'm for worried. Ms. But obviously, if she wins. Hello, obviously. Hi. I'm rooting for her. Hi. <laughs> and I would like to see her get a redemption at Eurovision that doesn't involve the booty hole sun. That's just me personally. Whether it's this year or a future year, I would like to see a redemption for her uh, in that regard. Not that she needs a redemption in her placement, because what? She got fourth. She got fifth. Fifth. I was like, it's up. I know she was top five. I couldn't remember what placement, but Mother, we're happy to see you again. We're so thrilled you're here. Absolutely. And we have to move on because there are two more songs to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but um, next up, our penultimate song today, we've got Milan Bujakovic with Move or Moje Tvoje. I forget the J is a Y sound. Moje Tvoje or mine, yours. <laughs> Tišina tvojih ir Ne sudi nove snove Dojku prošlost gledaš Ovaj ga se predaš So this is the part of the show Make it two where we are very excited to give our perfectly inoffensive award to Moye Tvoye. And I still think this is a, this is lovely. This still is a good song. It's lovely. He's got a great tone. It's just, I don't know that this song is competitive. It doesn't feel competitive. To and me. he, it, it's got a suck coming after Constructa. Oh yeah. Oh, I feel bad for this baby. Like, Oh, poor baby. Coming after Teodora and Constructa. And if there's anybody that's going to come after Teodora and do successfully, it's Constructa. It's so, Constructa. yeah, it's, you know, I think he's got a bit of an uphill battle. Just a bit. Because I also think there are other better male ballads in this semifinal, unfortunately. I but I think this is, I think it's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. I wouldn't skip it if, you know, I heard it unintentionally. Right. It's like, it's just, it's fine. It's, it's fine and lovely and fine. This stuff is just really strong. That's all. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. I love his vocal. I think the vocal is, is gorge. That's probably the best, the my favorite thing about it too. And it, it it's a lovely ballad, and you gotta have those. So, yeah. so last up that we're gonna talk about today is Durlansky with Musica, and I bet you can guess what that means in English. Melody. <laughs> It's interesting. Very. That's. I think it's very smartly written, and yeah. I, I, I think it's it's very unique. This falls into the same sort of universe as 
repetition. As that other song we talked about that other day, which I don't remember. We talked about a song. We um, some of them. Shoot, 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 shoot. There was a, the very first yes. song. Um, Bispo. Uh, Casa Portuguesa. It but, gave me, a little bit, yeah. It gave me Casa Portuguesa. A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah, I I think it's it's an interesting song. It kept my interest the whole time. It's got a nice beat. It's very it's very nice. Yeah. Um, his flow was really cool. I love this instrumental, and I love him rapping over it. Um, I just love the this trumpet. Just kind of it just feels like the trumpet's kind of doing whatever fits mm-hmm. the key. And I just find that really cool. I don't know. There's something I, I've, like you mentioned, like very smartly written, and I feel like it's the same on the instrumental end of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's 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 very nice. Very yeah. nice. And that's all I really have to say about it. So. Yeah. Well, we've come to the point in our program where we must discuss points. Point. And quite frankly, I could have had every single song in the semifinal on my list. Yeah. Like, genuinely, every single song could have been there. I think every song has merit to be there. Uh, But I've picked 11 of them specifically myself. Yes. So. Um, Because I started the first semifinal, I remembered... Yes, you did. I uh, Anissa, would you, Anissa, would you like to start with your honorable mention? Yes, I would like to. Um, this is only because this is such a strong semifinal. Um, this song just kind of fell a bit for me. So my honorable mention will be going to Naria Sudari. Okay. I get it. Yeah, yeah. My honorable mention, amongst a sea of, I will go ahead and say, a sea of male songs, um, this one stood out the most for me in that I think the vocal is the strongest. Um, and it's the song amongst those that I would listen to the most afterwards. So my honorable mention will be Dusan Kortic. Oh, okay. I just think I just I think the vocal and the power and the the beauty is is good enough for it for me. So. I get that. I get that. Sure. Uh, my one point will be going. It's the nostalgia for me. Um, it'll be going to hydrogen with Nemoyuka Mizia. Same. My two points, and this was actually kind of the song I switched around a lot. <laughs> and after listening to these songs again, um, my two my two points will be going to Georgie with Luna Park. Okay. I love that for you. He didn't make my list, unfortunately, but it's a very good song. So yes. my two points will be going to Nadia with Sudari. I- I'm happy that she's there. She's getting that points. Um, Definitely. Now, my three points, uh, let me just double check my list. Yes. Um, is actually going to my personal fave of the, of the male ballads we heard in the semi. So mm-hmm. it'll be going to uh, Nemanja Radosevich with Yutra Bestebe. And for the exact same reason, I'm also giving three points to Nemanja Radosevich. This song, I also kind of switched around a lot because I like it a lot more than I did the last, uh, before today. Mm-hmm. Um, so my four points will be going to Dom by Eva Lorenz. I was gonna say from here on out, it's the mother off featuring Philip Balos for me. Um <laughs> pretty much <laughs> literally the rest of my list is mothers and Philip Balos. Mothers and a twink. Like Mothers and a Twink. I uh, truly and honestly. Um my four points will also be going to Eva Lorenz. 
Um, it's good. It's really nice. It just it fell there. Yeah, that's what I was for me too. Um, same with this. Actually, at this point, the songs just fell where they did. Yeah. And I wish I gave it more points. So my five points will be going to the twink. <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry. No. no. Uh, I got it. I got it. Um, spoiler: the twink made my top five. But I really um, love for you. <laughs> yeah, my five points are going to go to Yanks with Colo. Um, I just think of the mothers and twink we have left. Um, this is just where it fell. Sure. Uh. So, uh, first entry in my top five, my fifth place, my six points will be going to, I'm so sorry, but Tiny Zashin. Oh, no. The cat dosa, yeah. Wow. The sexy one. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Uh, my six points, uh, this is where I have the twink. <laughs> 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 it's Philip Malos, Duga no. No. And from here on out, it's a mother off for me. So it is also a mother off. Uh, uh including cat dosha. Um I feel really bad about this this deserves more points, but ultimately it ended up at my seven. Uh, I just uh, do it. I know where you're going. You have seven it. points. You're going to be going to construct. Uh... I got it. I got it. It's 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 difficult. It's this semi is very difficult. I got it. I got it. Uh, my seven points in the mother off. Um, in the mother off, my seven points are going to Kat Dosa. I just there's something so enthralling about this song and I, I I really enjoy it so it had to be had to be a little bit higher. You know what it gave me? I'm just realizing this comparison now. Hmm. Buttons by I literally Dog. I am not even kidding. I was literally just thinking the same fucking song. <laughs> we are the same person. <laughs> we are I was like I was like Ooh. I had buttons in my head. I was like, oh, that's very. That's oh, it's that B. Here. Ooh. That B. It's that B. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. But yes, Kat Dosa, love you. Love you, girl. Love you so much. Um, Now, in this mother off, and I'm really sorry as well, it, it comes to a personal taste kind of thing mm -hmm. at this point. So very sadly... Um, my eight points are going to be going to Teodora with Ramonda. Whoa! Okay! I like that even within the mother off, we're, we're all over the place. I figured we would be! Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. In the mother off, I, I really enjoy this song. I just, I think I enjoy the other two that I have in my top two a little bit more. Um, so my eight points are gonna go to Zena. I think it's a really well done song. I just for me for you. Constructa and Teodora are just a little bit higher. Uh, no, I don't, I totally get that. No, and that's kind of why um my top two are where they are, because I kind of I I, I did enjoy them better. Um so my ten points will be going to Zena. Good. Good. I'm glad. This one was really difficult for me. And quite frankly, if I could give them both 11 points, I would. Um, But my 10 points are, are going to go to Constructa. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, for me, it was like my top four. I would absolutely be like, yes, rooting for you. My top six. I would be like, I'm very excited to see you. Right. And that would probably crack my top five overall for the year. Yeah. At this point. Obviously, we were going to have a lot more national selections before yeah. Serbia yeah. picks. So at this moment, most of that in my top six would at least crack my top five. As yeah. we've only got 10 songs right now. So. Yeah. 
a uh, so my that means my 12 points and this is more so a taste thing i love it for you i'm excited about this yeah. my, my 12 points go to yanks with colo i really like that i'm i'm happy for that my 12 points because i just have such an affinity for a gorgeous woman singing gorgeously with a gorgeous song with such a deep meaning like that really is what i love the most about eurovision absolutely i have i have to give my 12 points to theodora and i really think honestly if i'm looking overall at both semifinals i think my overall number one is theodora totally i get that. i think i think for me it's my top five and i was gonna ask you what you we're gonna what you were thinking about your top five overall for Serbia this year. Ooh, that's I think I think my top five in order would be Teodora at number one. I definitely would have Zoria at number two. Um, my number three would be Constructa. I need to look again really quickly. I think my ooh, that's difficult. So I think for me, uh -huh. while you're getting that together, my number one um, is for Zoria. Great. Um, number two, Yanks. Yeah. Uh, number three, Zena. Uh, number four, Theodora. Mm-hmm. Actually, and number five goes <laughs> I get that. I get that. I think for me, it's Theodore at one, Zoria at two, Constructa at three, Zena at four. And I actually think I like this a bit more. I think I like um, Kat Dosa a little bit more than Christina. But it would be very, very close between um tiny zachin and bedem for me that would be a very i very really love that though i love that for you yeah uh, for me serbia send a woman like oh, that's just, much. send a woman or send an act with a woman like or philip Bellos. that that's fine too that's really honest to god the only other the only man that i think i would be a hundred percent okay with going I'm going to be honest. I don't think the male entries are bad by any means. But, like, send Boyana and David. Send um, Breskvika. Send Chai. Send uh, Christina. Send Kat Dosa. Send Constructa. Send... Um, All the names. Send Teodora. Send Zena. Send Zoria. Send Yanks. Like, any of those options? I'd be presenting a lot of options. I'm presenting, pro I think that was like 10 options. Definitely more than that. <laughs> I just think send a woman. Send a woman. And I would even go specific, even spe more specifically to say, send a woman probably with a ballad or Constructa. Yeah. Or Cat Dosa. And like that, yeah. But I think that's where I'm at with, uh, with Serbia. It's a very, very, I'm very intrigued to see what this looks like. Yes. Um, and I'm very excited to see what happens with Serbia. Let us know in the comments down below. Uh, who are you rooting for at a semifinal two? Who are you rooting for overall for the Serbian selection this year? And we want to thank you so much for joining us for this semifinal coverage. Um, we've got videos going up every single day this week. So make sure to check them out. Subscribe, hit the bell so you're the first to know about our content over here. Make sure if you would like to support us in a further way. Become a member on our main channel. Uh, leave a super thanks on our main channel. Join the Patreon. Do all that kind of stuff. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. We've got a lot of content coming down uh, the pipeline for you all over there. Um, you can also go follow us on our social media, at the Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, you could go follow Anissa and I down below on Twitter as well. And if you go a little bit further down, you could go get your own merch, including but not limited to Cup Mug down there as well. And with all that being said... Cheers. Cheers. Bitti strava. Bitti strava. Bitti strava.
Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. Pitti strava. P